Hi, my name is Willux, and this is episode 24 of Project Ozone 2 Reloaded here in Titan mode. Today we're going to make some heart canisters. Uh, we're going to make the end cake so we can go off to the end and kill the ender dragon. But before we kill him, we're going to use a blood syringe on him. And then we're going to hunt around for some draconium while we're there. So we get the tr actual draconium blocks. Before we do all of that, though, I'm going to do what was supposed to be in the end of last episode. I could have sworn I did it. And that was making the um, lilies of fertility. Lily pads of fertility. And uh, I so much thought that I'd done it that I spent half an hour looking through chests going, where did I put them? <laughs> then I watched the video again and went, ooh, damn, I never made them. So here's what was involved. We need catalyzing glands. Those come from creepers. Rib bones come from skeletons. Slime pearls come from slimes. And cactus green comes from cactuses. And I've got my um, automated spawner, uh, my auto spawner, um, doing more for these catalyzing glands because I need so many of them right now. So we make the fertile essence first. Made a stack of that. Come over here. And actually, let's just grab those two. And we put them around like that. And we've got some lily pads of fertility then. And what we were to do with them was come out here. And I actually did make some between episodes. And I made this farm here. And I put them down here. I ran out of, I didn't have quite enough to do the whole thing. So basically, there's a space so I can put blocks underneath the dirt if I need to. And then I'm going to fill this room with lily pads of fertility. They overlap. They affect things as far as four away. Uh, sorry, no, four up, I think three to the side. And so I'll do that with each of the farms because these things are so cheap to make and so easy to make for me now. And then I stumbled a little bit. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do this. Look. It's all full and nothing's harvesting right now. What happens is this thing harvests all of them, waits 52, well harvests them all every 52 seconds. And that's because I got an autatic capacitor in there. If I took that out, because it's only a 7x7, seven seven, it'd harvest one plant every second is about what it works out to. Not exactly, I was doing that with a stopwatch. And that's just not fast enough because those lily pads make them all grow back up so much faster. So I was trying to figure out exactly how I was going to do it. Was I going to switch to harvesters? Was I going to have overlapping uh, um, crop farm, uh, not crop farms, um, farming stations? Uh, what was I going to do to do it? So I started doing some testing. And the way it works out is a harvester, regardless of size, does about four plants per second. Now with no capacitors, this thing would do one plant per second, so it would be slower. Now if I put an octatic capacitor and made it a 19 by 19, that's 360 plants, and it cleared them all every 52 seconds, it would be doing 6.9 plants per second. Sounds faster than harvester so far? But not really. Because the way I'd set up the harvesters is I'd do each of them as just a 3x3 three three and have lots of harvesters. They're cheap and easy to make. So I'd be doing uh, the plants every 2 seconds that way, or 2 in a, two in a little bit two and a quarter. Um, and I'd be getting full use out of those lily pads. Look at how really fast they grow with the, all those lily pads down there. So I think that's what I'm going to be going for is harvesters in basically three by three. So it would be uh, six 
long and then harvesters every uh, six. Um, so each harvester would only be handling a three by three area and they'd be overlapping the lilies between all the different harvesters. You'll see, I'll show you next time around. Okay, but let's get on to what this episode's supposed to be about. Oh, why the hell? Yikes. Um, clear that. There we go. I forgot to clear that when I did this one. It's doing gold essence right now. I have... I didn't think this through, so don't necessarily follow my order on it. But I needed the nature essence to make the uh, lily pads. I think I made those last episode. I've got the Certus and I made the Fluix once as well. Um, the Glowstone. I completely changed my plans on getting Draconium. I'm not going to be using Glowstone on Lava to make uh, um, Endstone and then sieving it. Instead, I'm going to go with Draconium Seeds. I, they weren't in um, Project Ozone 1, so I wasn't looking for them. But yes, they are, they are in this. To get them, I'm going to need four Draconium Ore. So I'm going to need to pick some of that up when I'm in the end. Oh, and I did set up a thing over here, like many of you suggested, and I've done it before, to auto uh, craft. Why is it not auto crafting this stuff right now? Does it have power? It has power, so why isn't it auto, auto crafting? It should be taking the blue stuff here and turning it into. Where's my extreme fusion stone? Strong, master, regular. Okay, I'll probably uh, just replace them all with a master later and get them up so that they're all doing uh, Temperio Essence. I don't know what happened to that stone. I'll change that later. You don't need to see me to do it. The master stone can work with all of the above. Okay, so let's get on to... We did those. Uh, making some heart canisters. So first we need to... Be, let me show you what I'm doing. Okay. So first we're going to make some of these. So we need the empty canisters. We have lots of miniature hearts now because uh, I'm using spikes in the mob farm and they drop there. And lots of necrotic bones. And we'll need to make some jeweled apples as well. So first we'll make some canisters. I'm actually making 12 because I want uh, two. Um, I'm gonna make, I have two yellow hearts as well. So we need extra red heart canisters for that. And then the jeweled apples for it. And then... Ten of them, and another two. So what we do with those, if you're not familiar, is we come up here. Where is it? I'm confused. Oh, there. There. Yeah, it was right there. So we put the ten in like that. You'll notice it takes it some time, but down here, I'm going to start gaining back uh, hearts, but it's sort of got to repair itself or I've got to eat an apple or something to do it. Okay, so next up for the yellow hearts, we're going to need some uh, golden apples. And then, what was it again? Oh, it's as simple as that. So these two, these two, and we get two uh, yellow heart canisters. The way I got the yellow hearts, one was from killing the wither, and something spawned off camera. Um, 
a massive slime. It was called a king slime. And I killed it. And I thought about it afterwards. And I said, I shouldn't have killed that. Because every time you kill a boss, all the monsters get a little more regen and uh, move a little faster. So I'm going to try to avoid killing unnecessary bosses. I will obviously kill them. I'm about to go kill a dragon. But I'm going to not kill more than I need to. Okay. So this is a, a syringe. Now, when you type this in, don't get confused. There are a couple of different types of syringe. There's the Mine Factory Reloaded Syringe. We do not want those. We're looking for the RF Tools Syringe. The reason that we want these things is if we ever decide to make something like a dragon dimlet, um, or dra an RF Tools Dragon World, where dra it's just spawning in dragons one after, well, two at a time, one after the other after the other. Um, we're going to need this to craft it. So, I'm going to bring along three syringes with me. I probably only need one, but I've been known to make mistakes. And so I figured I'd make two extra just in case. So notice that uh, I now have orange hearts, and now I'm about to have yellow, two yellow hearts down at the bottom. Okay, next up is the end cake. I got the cakes from the mob farm. They come in those uh, worn out ba loot bags. And some eyes of ender and just a regular golden apple. So we've got ourselves an end cake. Is there anything else to craft before I go? No, I think that's it. So let's get rid of some stuff that I don't have to carry with me. And let's get out my crossbow. I don't need that right now, but I am going to need bolts. And we can put this down over here somewhere. Now notice there's not very much on it. If I clicked on it right now, that would be the end of it. It'd be gone. But I can refill it with ender eyes. Okay, so it took five ender eyes to refill it. Now it's got five charges in it, and I could use it over and over again. So remember, I can fly, so I'm all taken care of there. I've got some food. I should be good. We're off to the end. Okay. Just looking around before I move anywhere. Now, we want to put these things on the bar first. And then we want to go wake up a dragon. There he is. Now, normally you would take care of these beacons, but I just don't care about them. Whoops, I was right-clicking. I forgot. I've got to attack him. Damn, I should have got something that makes me move faster. Hmm. That doesn't look like it filled it, does it? I may need more than one hit for each one. This is taking much longer than I thought. Last time I think I just hit it once. Mind you, I was running around in draconium armor when I took it on in uh, Project Ozone 1. There, that looks like it's full. Does it say? 100% right. Okay, next one. 
may only bother with two of these. I want at least two, but it's, I don't want to take too long for you. Wow, I really needed something that makes me go faster. I should make a, that belt of speed or something, or get something else that makes me move faster. There, another one full. I guess that's enough. We'll do two. got our heart. The main thing we came for. And I've upset somebody. Where is he? I should have got rid of my experience before I came here. Just in case. Okay, now next thing I need is some draconium. So I'm looking for a meteor and I don't immediately see one. So I might be cutting away here. We'll see how long this takes. Uh, let's get whoops, that up and pick a direction. Let's go north. Wow, I really don't see anything around here. Let's see if there's anything hiding down below. What are you? Draconium. All right. Actually, let's land. That'll make it go faster. But I on endstone. Is that what it's looking for? Or is it looking for something else? Uh, let's check that. That might not be right. See, this is what we found. And... Whoops. Oh yeah, that's what it wants. Okay, cool. We have four. That's all we needed. Well, that didn't take long at all. What is that, by the way? Anisio. Should I bother? Nah. Okay, that pretty much does it for here. Now I could either set a portal here, or... Uh, should I do that? Yeah, maybe. Whoops. I'll come back here and I'll kill you this way. You're being really annoying. Do I need to build a little roof over my head and kill you that way? Oh well, hell with you. Um, so let's set that portal that I talked about. Or that uh, from the portal gun. Let's hope I remember which way around it goes. Nope. That's not the right one. 
Okay, well, we got a portal out here anyways. We've just got to go uh, make one back there. We don't need to see that. Now oh, we're back. Okay. So. Yeah, the reason I placed the bed out here was so that I stopped getting weird cows spawning in there. So nothing can spawn within 24 of this bed. Okay. Now, before I forget... Let's take this portal gun. I thought I'd made uh, a portal using it, but I guess not. I had. Oh, it doesn't go through dimensions. I thought it did. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We'll just save that for later and use it for something else. Pretty soon we'll have other ways of doing it anyways. Okay, um, next up we want some... The four of you. Was it four of those or was it actually blocks of them? I forget now. It's four of them. And a Minicio. And now it's showing dra Draconium Ore this way. Didn't it show Draconium the other way before? Well, let's hope it works. I don't know whether this is going to work or not. So we need to plug it. Oh, now it's regular Draconium War. I have no idea how that works. Need that and that. Uh, the way it goes. Oh, I know what I haven't put in there yet. Actually, I can just click on it myself. Don't have to go through it that way. I thought I had to drop it on there, but you can just click on it now. I'm sure you used to have to drop it, but now not so much. Oh, it's going to take it a little while to make it. Well, while it's doing that, let's see how this is doing. Yeah, i got to switch this over to Lily so I don't have to use those anymore. The advantage to... Yeah, they're all 10, 10, 10s. So we can... Active. Sorry, what? Offline, okay. So this is what I do to clear it up each time. And... Uh, oh, I never set a thing for gold seats over here. I should have. That's unidentified. Those are... Actually, let's get the rest of them. Okay, where's gold going to go? Yeah, We'll put it right here beside... What are you? Eulorium. So if I go looking for them, I don't uh, get too confused. Those yellow ones are actually uh, um, chicken seeds, so that I didn't have to have those chickens out anymore. I can get feathers with this stuff. And let's not forget to clear this. What I'm using this for, basically, is just to filter out all the garbage seeds that come in here. Draconium seeds. Oh, do they need anything special to grow? Uh, I don't. 
don't see... That's not helping me any. What normally tells you when I look at something else? Like, let's say I picked... Uh, um, the Nether Star Seeds. Whoops. Another uh, star plants. How do you find out which? Uh, I remember you could find it through NEI, and I'm forgetting how. What needs to go under them? Because I know. Uh, oh, it's up for the essence, isn't it? Another essence, another crop. Let's try essences. Okay. What we really want is draconium essence. And it's just regular farmland. We don't need anything special underneath. Whereas if we did it for... Um, yeah, but that's not the nether essence we want. Um, That's what it is. Yeah, you got to have awakened draconium below it. That's one reason I'm not excited about making nether star seeds, is I can get uh, nether stars from straight EMC. Awakened draconium involves me killing dragons, as far as I know. Actually, let me do that in a different way. I'm going to ask it as a question. For awakened draconium, you can kill a dragon. So we just killed the ender dragon. We got some, uh, one of the hearts. Uh, next episode, after I've got some draconium, I will uh, make the awakened draconium. Then we can go back and we can resurrect him that way. And we can make uh, four blocks of awakened draconium each time we kill a dragon like that. Or we could make an RF tools dimension and kill lots of dragons that way. Or there's the Wand of Animation, which is a little further down. It's not particularly easy to make this time around. You can blame me for that. I made it look too easy in um, Project Ozone 1, and he made it tougher. So, Wand of Animation. As you can see, this is going to involve some stuff. And I don't even know how you make a lot of these uh, things. This, you have to kill the ant lion in the um, um, Herberus dimension to get that. That was the difficult part before. And then uh, last time he used Aurora Cascade, you had to make some 11th degree something or other. But this time, it's a lot more difficult. Bedrockium is easy for us now. We can make lots of that if we want. Uh, I'll show you that one. Anyway, so back to my question. Uh, well, let's just show you this so far. So, full, so far, this thing, without any more upgrades since I last showed it to you, I have 428 sextuples. And uh, that makes lots of bedrockium. Okay, so um, Awakened Draconium. Is there another way to get it? I don't believe Awakened Draconium has an EMC value. No. Or Draconium ingots. No. None of the bat has uh, EMC. 
So do you know another way to get it that I don't know about? Um, the other issue would be that I want to know the answer to is what is the most effective way to create EMC? I know a lot of people swear by the uh, nether, uh, nether star seeds. I'm not as impressed with that idea because I don't find nether stars to be deer and I do find the awakened draconium that you need to grow it on top of to be deer. By deer I mean difficult to get. So I'd rather do something else. For example, it might be um, tesseracts. Okay, tesseracts are 378,000. So that's not too bad. And I could set up an automated system to make tesseracts, either some of the parts of it coming from uh, the energy condenser or even just doing it all right from scratch. Uh, it would involve a few machines and it would be a little bit complicated, but uh, by nothing that I would consider important to me or difficult to get. So Tesseract isn't bad, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if there's something better. So please let me know in the comments what you think might be better than Tesseract. Okay, before we close this episode off, I want to have a conversation like I did last episode about ads and stuff. First off, I want to state that I really do appreciate the support from all of you about the ads. I have some of the greatest fans ever. Now, I was new to this and didn't know how much the ads pay. I've done some research and I've read that putting ads in the beginning nets about a dollar or two per thousand views. I'm currently at about 50,000 views, so that's not enough yet. I couldn't support myself on that even with many of you deliberately watching the ads to help me out. Now, I've been doubling my views most months, so I'm at least five months out before I could start making a living at it. So unless one of you is rich and wants to sponsor me for about $2,500 one time so I can grow the channel full time, and I don't expect that to happen, I'm going to have to go out and find a job. I'll continue to make videos, but how often will depend on the job and the hours I need to work. I'll keep you updated. But again, I want to state how much I really appreciate all of your support and goodwill on this. Well, I hope you found this worthwhile. Hope you found it interesting. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks. <laughs>